Hello YouTubers and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you some software and some settings for your HD PVR. So as you can see this is the software. Let's make that bigger there. This is your edit screen. You also have a capture tab, your edit tab and your producing tab. This is where all the magic happens. Drag and drop if you like. Double click. Here's a producing, you can either do a HD file, a DVD, a normal file, or if you're not into video editing, just upload straight to YouTube. Like I said, here's the capture tab. Okay, for your source, this should be your HD PVR, or whatever software, whatever device you're capturing with. This comes with a HD PVR, so I don't see why you wouldn't choose that. Next you want to choose YPBPR, this is your component basically, this is captures the, uh, the HD. Next I'm getting my audio from the back and I'll choose 2 channel because 5.1 is wasted on YouTube. Now under device settings I kept this as is, it works so why fix it, just ok that. And next, format settings, select the source resolution as 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. Now the, um, the quality bitrate, I kept at 13.5 at constant, uh, constant bitrate because that's the best you can get. Tick um, the box for 16 by 9 on both. And if you're using Sony Vegas, I suggest using AC3 audio encoder. The other one would be if you're using the Mac. OK, apply that and OK. Set your Xbox to 720 because 1080, 1080i is just far too big and they're big files, there's no point. Now I'm using my Xbox but I don't have to click on Xbox 360. I'll click on PlayStation 3 if I'm using Sony Vegas because that encodes with um, an M2TS file. The Xbox uses an MP4 file which you can use for iMovie or something like that on your Mac. I will never use the AVC HD. This button here you can take a screenshot. This one makes it full screen as you can see. And nothing else but to capture. So I'll capture some some video and then we'll render it. As you can see I'm using my Xbox dashboard here. So I'll think, yeah, I'll pick a game and we'll capture that. So here we go. Okay, now my lights come on. I've got the green light. Um, just use the yeah, just use Trials Evolution. Great game, by the way. I'm doing a let's play on Whenever that. I'm riding. I'm always extra careful, and I like to burn my tires hotter than you could always. I won't be playing this because I'm going to do a let's play and I just want to capture some video basically. brings you to the edit screen now you can either drag and drop or just double click there we go and I'll just play that quickly just so you know what we've just captured whenever I'm riding I'm always extra careful and I like to burn my tires So now we've done that, we want to go into Sony Vegas. So I'll just let that load up. First thing we're going to want to do is create a new project. There we go. And 
choose a template choose this one I've made one so I think I've called mine Gabonk HD just keep all your settings as is apart from the one you want to use and select I'm gonna select what we've just recorded again just to keep things simple now I don't need the beginning bit where I show you selecting the game so split that delete that I think move that forward now we need to crop it with this little guy here cropping just moving the screen in a little bit so you don't get those black lines that you see on quite a few videos well I see them anyway but I've I've made a template I've just called it Xbox and PS3 gameplay so I'll click on that and all my videos will stay the same so I know that's fine because there's nothing worse than getting a black line there and a black line there okay so I think I'm done really so if I go to file and uh, render as click on that select where you want to save your file name your file and the save type should be uh, main concept AVC slash AAC and in brackets MP4 so once you've done that go to custom uh, make sure the uh, the width is 1280 and the height is 720 keep all these the same tick this little guy here and under constant bitrate BPS it should be 14-000-000 click OK and now click save after you've clicked OK make sure you click save that's the next thing you do because things get the things get swapped about for some reason and I'm gonna let it render and come back okay that's my magic the power of video editing I'm back just let this finish okay so now we just open file this will open where you saved it select your file double click on that minimize that Whenever I'm riding, I'm always full screen careful. there we go like this is what I captured Laptop there, so it did stutter a bit, but that shouldn't shouldn't happen when you do it. So I've captured it, I've rendered it, and I've got the file. There you go. You got any problems? Send us a, a question, and I'll try my best to answer it. As again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.